Jeff, how you guys feeling after getting an uh, extra week in there? More um, refreshed? Yeah, real good, real good. Um, ended with a couple real good practices, had a good practice. Um, offensively Wednesday and Saturday, and went out and had a good practice again yesterday. So I think guys got their legs back as well a couple of days off. So um, I think everyone's feeling really good. This uh, defensive front you guys are facing this week may probably be one of the better ones you'll see. Uh, most physical, without a doubt. Uh, big, big, strong guys. I mean, it's, Stanford has a reputation and uh, uh, of rushing the quarterback and having those big, strong guys up there. So I think it'll be one of the best fronts. Yeah, we'll, we'll see this year. Do you think the bye week serve as a bit of a, a mental reset for the team? Um, yeah, I, I'd hope so. I think I think that'd be that'd be a good thing, and and uh, I think. Most everybody took advantage of this week and, and kind of, like you said, just kind of reset and, and, and get refreshed and ready to come in and, and, and really excited to work. So um, I'm looking forward to this week, and, and, uh, and I know a lot of the other guys and the rest of the team is too. Any difference in your preparations being, you know, the quarterback that's getting the first team snaps this week? No, none, none whatsoever. I prepare the same week, week in, week out, because like you've seen in the past, you know, a few weeks, you never know when you're going to play. You guys have a week of look at film now. I guess what are some of the things that stand out there, or just preparing for this game? Uh, you know, like I said, Sanford's a real physical team. Um, uh, do a good job of stopping the run. We need to be able to establish the run if we're going to throw it. Um, we like to just get our running game going a little bit more. And and uh, but I mean, we should continue continue to do our thing and just play our game really. Wide receivers got called out a little bit last week. How did they respond in practice? Uh, great, really good. Um, I think t Tuesday, I think we might have won one drill offensively with receivers, and then Wednesday, uh, offense won every single drill that there was against the defense. So uh, the guys really responded. Uh, Isaiah Myers, Christoph Williams, and had really good days after you know pretty bad Tuesdays, and they'd be the first to admit it. They, you know, a lot of the guys, um, including the quarterbacks, didn't come out as mentally ready as we should have. And but like you said, we responded, and and, uh, and it was. It was a really good practice Wednesday, and it was good to see that those guys kind of lit a fire under themselves and, and took it upon themselves to have a great practice Wednesday. And how much does that help you and your confidence as a quarterback? Uh, I mean, I don't really. I mean, I know those guys can play. That's never a question in my mind. It's just whether they're going to put their minds to it. So it's easy to kind of fall into that that trap of a bye week and you know kind of come out, take it, take it easy, and stuff like that. It's it's too easy to fall in that trap, and I think that's what happened a little bit. But uh, I, didn't, I don't really put too much into it because they came out the next day ready to go and, and were themselves again. As the quarterback, what do you see as the most challenging thing from Sanford's defense? Just sort of reading and seeing film and sort of things that you're kind of focusing on a little more extra? Um, they blitz a fair amount, but I mean, I think the most challenging thing is going to be stopping their pass rush and, and, and me getting the ball out quick and efficiently and find, finding the right receivers, really. Because, uh, these guys, I won't be able to hold the ball as long, I don't think. And uh, I just need to be efficient with my reads and, and just continue to get the ball out uh, as quick and efficiently as possible. How, how have you seen defenses responding to the fact that you guys haven't, haven't ran the ball the way that you wanted to? Uh, something called cover eight, where they only rush three and drop eight. Um, have, you uh, seen, have you seen that from everybody? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, pretty much seen that from everybody. And basically, uh, it turns into a bit of scaly. And, and everyone just drops as many guys as they can on us. And, um, and when we've had success this year, it's when we've been able to run the ball against that, you know, some. And that's what we did against Eastern was came, came out and started running the ball, calling call some more runs, and we had it. And uh, we had to bring those guys forward a little bit, which able, which opened up the pass for us. So um, it's real important. we gotta, we got to have a running game. You can't, in this league, um, you can't. You, it's tough to throw it every single down and, and be as successful as you want because this guys will start to figure you out. Jeff, can you kind of describe that that Tuesday practice and was it the toughest practice you've ever been through? Uh, no, I mean it's not that the practice itself was tough. Um, it was just like I said, it was just it's easy to fall in that trap. I've seen it every single year. I've been at this university. You have a bye week. Guys come in at like, oh, we got a bye week, and you know, let's relax and not commit it too, um, too hard, and, and not give us give it our our, our all. Um, and um, it, 
just it was just really bad Tuesday. I mean, as a team and as an offensive unit, it was really bad. Um, guys didn't come out ready to play, prepared, uh, no energy. So, uh, I mean, like you saw in red, I'm sure it's, you know we did plenty of rolling and catching balls. So uh, that part was probably the toughest practice I've been through was rolling in the sand and whatnot. But um, as a practice, it's just all metal. It's just from the neck up. What, what, for you, what time do you practice in? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember. And since Wednesday's turnaround, you feel like the momentum is carried over into this week. Do you feel like the the attitude of the team is where you want it to be? I do, because I think guys saw Tuesday kind of how bad it can it can really get, and it's just it just sucks. Honestly, it doesn't feel good to have a practice like that, and and and, and, and go and watch the film and stuff, and then you, you go and you look at it Wednesday and you're like you know. We look good, you know, and so it's it's really encouraging. And then we go out on Saturday, had another good practice um, offensively, and, and guys brought the energy because they know um, with 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 this team, it's it's really it's from the neck up, honestly. It's just learning how to prepare, and and, and the coach Leach just said, turn the switch on and off. We got to stop doing that, and it's just got to be on. And you can't expect to come into practice and just say, okay, I'm gonna have a great practice today or something like that. It's just got it's got to be a 24/7 thing where you gotta live this and, and, and truly come out to practice excited like it's a game day. Jeff, with Stanford having such a strong front seven, is the team going to have to make, have to make more of a concerted effort to really establish the run? Um, I, yeah, I mean, like I've been saying, we need to be able to run the ball against these guys, and um, it's on my shoulders. It's got to be on me to get us into the best run with the best the best front, because they're not going to bring seven every single time. and. And, and all that, and they're going to give us different looks, and it's my job to get us into the best place and the best, uh, the best coverages and looks. So um, I'm in the film room studying it up, and, and when they give it to us, we need to be able to run the ball. What are you looking for pre-snap? Are you counting? Are you looking to see who's coming and who's not when you're figuring out whether to get out and get into a run? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's literally everything. You, you Safeties, corners, backers, alignment, if guys are stacked over receivers. Your front, who's your one shade, three tech? No, I mean it's it goes into all that. It's, it's it's not just one certain thing where uh, you know, okay, this guy's coming, I'm gonna run it the other way, kind of thing. It's 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 it's, it's pretty different runs go against different looks, I guess. Is that something that you've gotten more comfortable with? Was there any hesitation getting out of things when you kind of first got in the system early the season? Yeah, without a doubt, it's, I've gotten way more comfortable with it. I was talking to Coach Leach and. Um, you know BYU. I, I I didn't hardly check out of anything because um, I don't. It's my first game with Coach Leach. You know we we we, have, we we learn each other too, and I learned Coach Leach. And um, throughout the season, I've learned that you know he he's giving me the, the keys to the car. You know what I mean? You got to check out of things and get us into a better play. Just because I call it doesn't mean you should run it. If you see something that you like better, that's going to work for us, and check out of it. And um, that's what I started to do, and, and I did it at Oregon State, and I did it a bunch of Cal and. And uh, it worked out okay for us, so I'm just going to keep building on it. Was there kind of an intimidation there at first when you started? Like, you know, you know how Leach is and how smart an offensive mind he is, and you get in those first games and you, you think that he's got, like, the perfect whatever you don't want to get out of things. Uh, there was no intimidation, I don't think. Uh, for me, it's uh, we're a team. We want to work together. Um, I never expected Coach Leach to say, you know, if we're, if we're struggling to say, okay, I, I need the perfect play here, and and I need you to to get us a big game with your play call, because I mean, it's just this is not happening. Uh, he's not playing, we are, so um, it's on the players to execute what is called. And and uh, as this team has grown, and as I've learned the offense, uh, I've I've learned what works in what scenario, so it's really helped us. Do you do you ever miss being a part of the running game? Running, you know, not running as much as you did maybe as a sophomore. Uh, at times, yeah, and you know, it's I got to do a better job of myself taking advantage of that. Um, you know, again, me and Coach Leach have talked about that as well, and and uh, you know, he always says that he'd rather see a real athlete run the ball or, or a professional run it or something, or doesn't want to see me run it. But um, then again, if, if it's there on film, he says, you know, run it, and so. Um, I gotta just take advantage of it, and when it's there, take it. Would you say that the quarterbacks, as a whole, would be more comfortable uh, when Marquise is on the field? It looks like the offense kind of was a little bit shaky there at the end of the first half last week. Um, 
I mean, obviously he's our big play guy, can can break a game open and all that. So, um, but if you're going to sit there and, and say, oh God, you know, Marquise, and you're already defeated, you know, so you can't look at it that way. And I think that Dom uh, did a great job of, of coming in and making plays, and and uh, he did some, he did some good things. I mean, had had, had a couple of long long catches, good runs. So, um, as easy as it would be to say, you know, Marquise isn't in, you know. There goes the deep foot or whatever. It's just not the right thing to do. It's not the healthy thing to do. So um, we got plenty of receivers to make plays, and I think Dom stepped in and did a great job. Jeff, this could be the home stretch for you in five games left on the schedule. How much do you want to take advantage of the fact that you know you're taking first team snaps right here? Take a hold of that position and uh, ride it out. Uh, bad. I mean, I want. I, obviously, I want to. I want to. Uh, hold on to that position. I want to lead this team to some victories, and, and like I said uh, last week, that a bowl game still isn't out of reach. You know, believe it or not, and people from the outside looking in can say uh, it is, but it's not with us. So, uh, it's a position I'm in. It's my job to to take us there, and and I'm going to keep believing until it's out of reach. Are you the one making kind of the, the line checks and stuff like that? And is that something that has gotten better the year? Has progressed, get you guys in the right protection, what you've seen in front of you. What do you mean by line checks? Like adjusting the protection, do you guys do any of that and who makes that call? Uh, I don't, I haven't done much um, line checking protection. Our center is the one who pretty much takes control of that, but as far as plays go, yeah, that's my job. Any questions on the line for Jeff? It's much different than what we were before. Um, I mean, you, you've seen, I think, just by the number of guys who aren't here anymore that started here with the season. Um, uh, there, there's a high demand for production, um, and if you don't, if you're not going to produce, then um, you're in the wrong place, basically. So it has been a dramatic change, and and uh, it's for it's for it's for the better. I mean, you've got to demand the most out of your players, and I think these coaches have done a good job doing that. Bud, anything else? I think I'm good, thank you. All right. Any other questions? I got one more. It's a lighter one. It actually comes from a student. Um, what's your pregame ritual? Or what are some of Do you have any superstitions or anything like that? Or what do you do pregame? Oh, man. Uh, I pray. <laughs> I, I, don't have, I don't have a real, you know, special pair of underwear or anything like that or, you know, touch a rock or something like that. Other people do. It's just, I'm... Whatever music is playing in the locker room, or whoever wants to listen to what, I'm, I'm with it, and uh, I'm just I'm, I'm goofy, like to have fun, dance around, be loose, and try to spread that to the rest of the team. But as far as pregame ritual, uh, nothing really superstitious.